Uh, Robert back here. I'm going to do a little experiment. Um, at the world's longest yard sale, I found this can of uh, Tester's airbrush propellant. I was noticing that nozzle on it. Looked really familiar. Check this out. Hey, like that. It doesn't seem like it's burning quite as hot as the fuel, but it is burning. And um, this upright can, you know, these these short fat cans are better for stuff like lanterns. But check this out. Got my old Porta Perk um, coffee pot percolator. It works. I refill these cans and it works. Got that little adapter. I can refill this with uh, from one of the uh, modern butane cans like this. That adapter will lock onto there and screw that on and then screw it onto your tank. And you can refill it with butane, or you can hook it onto the one pound propane tank, and I can refill it with propane. This will screw right onto the to the cans. But check this out: these vintage antique cans, upright cans, are really hard to find. This threaded. You can find more of the ones that slip on. But these threaded ones, I in my area, now this is the only can I've found that comes with this. And one other one I bought at North Carolina when I went to the Coleman Gathering. I bought one more can that was threaded, a bright can that I have on a Primus Lantern. And um, like I said, it's really hard to find this size of can with fuel for fuel. But check that out. They still make the cans. They're just not labeled for this. It's the exact same can. And with this valve, it burns but and it and it boils and it perks coffee. But I like a real slow perk and I can't get a real slow perk with that with the fuel. Or this don't burn quite as hot. Let's give this a try, see if it might perk a little bit slower. need a no ring there is a slight difference this is completely flat on top and there is a little bevel can't really consider it a bevel because it comes up it's kind of opposite of a bevel like a little nipple so uh, let's, let's try an no o-ring All right, got an O-ring in there, no leaks. So let's, uh, let's see if it'll slow our perk down a little bit. Get the 
error run out of the lines. Okay, I've got a little bit of coffee in there. I didn't measure anything. Got a little bit of coffee and a um, little bit of water, one bottle of water in there. I'm not going to drink no coffee because it's my bedtime just about. But I am just going to see if we can, if our perk slowed down a little bit with that uh, tester's propellant instead of the fuel. And. Uh, Hoping it did because I couldn't get a real slow perp with the fuel. And this doesn't seem to burn quite as hot, so maybe it'll tame it down a little bit for a slow perp. Cross your fingers. Once you look there, I think I got the perfect perk. Okay, um, I talked to somebody a while back ago, said so they'd found one of these porta perk pots and uh, they didn't have a canister and they didn't want to buy it because they didn't think they could find a canister. Well, look here. So I just get $2 for mine. I'm, I'm assuming you pay a little more for that if you go to uh, Hobby Lobby. I know they, they carry them at Hobby Lobby. But look there, there's your canister that will fit. Um, Porta perk pot. All you have to do is add an O-ring and uh, readily, ready available can. All right, got the perfect perk. Gotta go. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.